Hi, this is Ed Gregory for PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use split toning in Lightroom. Okay, so what is split toning? Basically, you divide an image into the lights and the darks and you can add color to the darks or add color to the lights independently of each other, therefore splitting the tone and affecting them differently. However, this isn't changing the brightness of the lights or the darks because that's done in the basic panel. This is only changing the color, okay? So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. So here we are in Lightroom and we are in the develop module as we can see up here. And today we're going to be on the right hand side underneath HSL is split toning. So let's click this drop down, and this is what it looks like, okay? So we've got all the sliders set to their basic setting. Now, like with all the sliders, there's multiple ways for actually editing. You can slide the slider to the left and the right. You can click on it to move the slider, or you can click on the side here and drag to the left or drag to the right to actually change it, or double click on the word to set it back to zero. Really simple. So what do we actually want to do with this? So let's look at this image. I've chosen this really contrasty image. So we've got darks, okay, uh, or shadows as it's called, and highlights as it's called, okay? So let's quickly add something. So we're going to select the color yellow, and we're in highlights as it says here, and we're just gonna move the saturation up and we can see all the highlights now have a yellow tone. We can actually see this is what create sepia tones in the very simple way basically um, so then so that's that's simple there and then let's do uh, let's take that back out so we'll leave that in yellow and then let's go to, onto the shadows and we'll go blues and we'll drag this up and now look we we'll look at all of the blue all the darks now have blue in it now if we add that in at the same time so we've got blues in the shadows then in the highlights the yellows we move that up and now we have this split toned image lights have yellows darks have blues simple and we can change that so we can change it to be turquoise and yellow or we can have pink and turquoise for example loads of different options so let's reset to yellow and to blue and let's boost this really high so that we can really see what we're doing here so yellow highlights blue shadows now we have this balance okay now what this basically does is it moves the center point of if things if the yellow has more or the blue has more so for example if we go towards the blacks what that means is that more of the darker colors is included in the shadows therefore it will go more blue so watch this more blue and then if we go the other way more of the mid-tones are seen as highlights and therefore it goes more yellow really simple so that's basically how split toning works but how might you actually use this okay because you might be thinking I don't really understand what I would use this for so what we're going to do for this one is we're going to use it on this portrait image here. And we're gonna take this very simple, beautiful portrait and we're gonna add just split toning only and see what we can create from this. So if we wanted like some kind of a high fashion look, that would use the yellows in the highlights. So if we watch this come in here, the yellows, it's gonna warm it all up. And then we would add like this um, turquoisey color here to the shadows and all of a sudden, we've created this kind of high fashion, very cool or cinematic look. If we wanted to actually make a cinematic look, we would push this to the purple slightly in the shadows and in the highlights we would take it to the turquoises uh, like so and it's gonna really cool down the image and we're gonna take this back and now this is kind of cinematic and looking great and it looks fantastic. So that's what split toning is and how to use it to be really creative in Lightroom. If you liked this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because I've got loads and loads and loads of more videos on their way to make you a super pro um, retoucher in Lightroom. Okay, have a nice day. My name's Ed Gregory, Photos in Color, logo.